Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to install the cruise control. <clears throat> I've been waiting for this moment for a long time and now finally I received the cruise control uh, lever. But let's make a step back. Before buying this by the way, it's used uh, because if you want to buy new, you have to buy the entire lever assembly. So with lights and whatever, you cannot buy just this one uh, new. So I had to look in, you know, online and calling different uh, junkyards. And finally, I found one on eBay from UK, <laughs> crazy enough. So before actually buying this, I checked if my van was like able to accept this, you know. So first of all, I checked if behind the plastic here underneath the steering wheel, there is the wiring. So with the plug for this one and my van luckily has the wiring. So that was a nice uh, discover because otherwise you can still add this but you have to root wires and connect wires to the engine ECU and you know it's a little bit more complicated but in this way it's just a matter of plug this in and then enable the function inside the computer the, the body computer of the van so when I saw the wiring, then I take my laptop, connect it to the OBD uh, port on the van, which is underneath here. I will show you everything step by step. And then I checked if inside the uh, computer, the option to enable cruise control was there. And it was. So after that, I then start to look for those online. After a few months I found one and now it's here. I just received it yesterday so there are many online but always just with cruise control. This one has the option to have also um, speed limit function and which is this one. As you can see there are two zero cruise control and underneath its uh, speed limit and the plug the wires are three wires on my van which is for this one if you have two wires then you need to find the other lever which is just on off right here instead of the two symbols and that one is just for cruise control with no speed limit function so Let's start. I'll show you every step we need to take. Here is the OBD port and then we need to remove this plastic. So it's easier to remove all this part right here. It's just three screws. One here. It's a T Torx 25. So you need a, a small screwdriver to fit one here another one right there they're quite long okay now you just need to pull here here you can find the uh, OBD port let me zoom, zoom in this one and we need to connect we need to connect something that allows communication between the computer and the car i'm using this obd link lx version bluetooth which is a little bit cheaper than the other one it's enough many says that you know Bluetooth connection is it's not safe and actually they are right. Um, 
it's better to have a wire connection between your computer and the OBD port for safety but that's what I have and I take the risk and you need the, a yellow adapter for the Fiat Ducato this goes here and this one goes in the OBD port right here and we have power and Bluetooth it's on every operation we will make we need to turn the key on the you know on position now to remove this plastic you need a three millimeter X key one two so another one down here and the last one it's where is here okay now just pull the plastic and there we go underneath the light switch here I have this plug with three wires and this space made exactly for the cruise control lever and on the plastic there is the space you know here so I need to cut this plastic off I will cut around here and make the space for the cruise control lever first actually let's connect the computer and enable the cruise control and speed limit then we will connect the lever okay so this is my computer let's turn it on so this is the software where is the mouse 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 i like to use the mouse this is the software we are going to use to go to connect to the body computer it's called multi ecuscan it's very famous if you look online it's not from fiat so they don't give you any warranty but it works you can change any settings i actually did use already this uh, software to enable the fog light because that's another thing i didn't show you now my van has fog light i just buy them install them and uh, with this enabled and i changed the switch unit on the left here to have the you know the switch for the fog light but anyway it's uh, very simple when you know what you're doing so of course i already paired the obd link with my computer via bluetooth now i just need to select fiat and my engine type and model ducato type uh, 290 2.3 multi-jet that's my van okay so i changed angle because uh, i don't know yet how to uh, i mean i have the software to record the screen of my computer so i'm gonna show you like this bear with me so again that's connected key on okay and now here now here on the software uh, so model so the model it's selected this one and then can set up proxy alignment connect uh, yes the adapter is connected connecting to ECU please wait okay so warning this vehicle is properly configured proxy alignment is not needed so that's a good sign yes now we want to make a uh, adjustment so we go to the adjustment uh, page and here okay now it's in italian of course but you can see cruise control here disabled and uh, this one it's uh, speed limit function disable 
as in here you can see a little description of what this does a little bit in italian a little bit in english i don't know why but whatever so we stay on cruise control down here execute we change here to enable okay please confirm yes completed now the other one speed limit again execute enable okay confirm yes completed okay yes so now both are enabled so we need now to do uh, the proxy alignment which means that all these uh, changes are going to be written into the, 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 the van computer so we go over here on the first line and execute again okay now everything proxy data please wait okay body computer success that's what we want and now it's going through all the control unit but the first one is what we want and probably not all of them are going to be a success of uh, but that's like this one see failed but we don't need that we didn't make any change on the uh, dashboard uh, like this airbag we didn't make any change on the airbag basically it's going through everything it's in the van then we wait so it says failed because one or two it's failed but that's okay even if it says failed we need to be uh, sure that the body computer was success the others we don't care because we need we made changes only on the body computer so now we can disconnect and actually we can reconnect to, to see if the, the changes are there so let's connect again and adjustment and as you can see now the two uh, functions are enabled so we are good to go disconnect again and let's check body computer just to see if there are any errors because they probably be there because we didn't uh, connect the lever yet so let's go to body computer connect yes okay up here errors and yeah as you can see there is a cruise control uh, basically cruise control lever error it says shorts or open secret up here which means there is nothing connected so before erasing this let's connect the the, the lever so taking this and connecting to the plug okay so this goes here okay like this now let's go back here and uh, clear errors down here clear errors now no fault codes okay let's uh, disconnect and connect again on body computer to see if errors are gone for real let's see the error page no fault codes perfect so okay let's disconnect now we should be good to go so key off let me just so this one just goes in like this you know in the in the hole finish that, that's what it takes to mount the, the lever so now if i turn the key on we should see now the uh, cruise control light appearing on the startup let's see if it's true there we go there it is so that's uh, 
it's a sign that cruise control is it's enabled so now if i turn this like this this is cruise control and this is speed limit so if i turn this up cruise control inserito which means uh, enabled and you see the lights there and it's working and off again it says control uh, disabled and if if i go down on the other one this one that's what it says let's see again L sld which is which means uh speed limit i don't know d what it means and it appears this symbol with off and the speed now if i go up or down i can change that value see 50 kilometers per hour now and uh, to turn it on i just press this and it changes from off here to just the symbol which means now the function it's enabled and now it's on pause and if i turn on zero it goes away it's dis disabled cool okay so basically that's it <laughs> it's not that simple i spend a lot of time researching and under understanding all the steps you know what to do with other, because i di didn't want to mess with the you know control with the van electronics so before doing all of, all of those uh, i study a lot <laughs> but now when you know what to do and um, it's pretty easy as you can see side note the software isn't free i mean you can download the free version just to read errors i guess or something or depend which vehicles you have they have a list online where you can see what you can do with the free version and what you can't but i invest 50 euros and i bought the the, the paid one because it's you know it's a long-term investment i know with this software i can make changes in future if i want to um, modify anything inside the you know the vehicle and uh, if i want to read errors and clean those stuff you know maybe in future uh, i will add some stuff i'm thinking about it i don't know if it's possible because like i did the fog light similar procedure you know just connecting because i had the wiring inside the, the engine bay so connecting them and enable with the software and uh, i bought this um this one with the front fog light uh, switch because the original one didn't have this one maybe in future i'm going to install a uh, webasto for the engine coolant so to heat up the engine coolant before starting the engine probably before i want to travel up north europe where it's really cold maybe in winter you never know or maybe in when i'm going to canada <laughs> whatever that's an option and uh, another thing i did but that's what this one does doesn't involve the software so i had the normal rear mirror with manual adjustment i didn't have uh, the uh, electric actuator so i basically i bought just this switch and the two uh, mirrors with the electronic inside in this door i already had all the wiring so it was just a plug and play <laughs> on the other one the wires of the actuators were missing so i had to add those wires luckily behind the dashboard the wire uh, were there so was just inside the passenger door i had to add a couple of wires for the electric mirror to work that's another uh, upgrade i did 
this one uh, wasn't there before so I just connected using the uh, cigarette lighter wires uh, I added this USB charger port then what I did well I think that's it talking about one upgrade I think that's it okay well so let me put together everything down here and and then I'm done yeah um, just kidding I need to <laughs> I need to cut this out I forgot about this otherwise this is not gonna fit should be easy welcome back to the workshop more or less a little bit of sandpaper okay so it's not perfect but it's I mean good enough let's go back to the van I just received the wood for the countertop isn't it beautiful it's 20 millimeter thick uh, hook. This is gonna be in the near future a uh, big project. Okay, so this goes like this. Well, looks good to me. By the way, this is one Ruby tag uh, temperature sensor connected with the Victron system. That for now it's here to measure the cab, but at the at the end, when everything will be finished, this one will go inside the fridge to monitor the fridge temperature. So I can set alarms if the fridge for any reasons goes off I will receive an alarm if the temperature you know rises uh, over a certain point okay so I need to clean later but everything it's put together and now I think the only thing left to do is to do a drive test I'm sure it's gonna work but I wanna try it and yeah pretty stoked about it the cruise control was a thing that I always wanted to do because when you go on the highway it really makes the difference you know the van is gonna burn less fuel and you can rest your legs on the highway so that's pretty good <laughs> so okay guys thank you for watching if you have any question about the cruise control installation leave it in the comment below please give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos and subscribe if you're not it's going to be juicy the next few videos so stay tuned and um, yeah thank you and see you in the next one bye why is it so dusty here oh.
I need to clean the line. Okay, guys. I'm recording. Am I recording? Ooh. Like this or what? How it goes? Seriously? Somewhere? Somewhere in the rain. Let me see if you can see what I'm talking about. Okay guys, so, so again, how many times I say so in a sentence? Damn it. Okay guys, see you in the next video.